Hey, my name is Jesus Castillo, and in this video, you're going to learn about inheritance in Ruby. What is inheritance? Let me show you an example. Have this pet class, and this pet class has three methods. Has the speak method, the eat method and sleep method. Now I also have a cat class and a cat does the same things as a pet does plus a few different extra things, right? So what we can do is instead of copying all of that into cat, I can inherit from pet like this and that we automatically bring in all of these methods as part of this class. Let me demonstrate. Can create a cat like this, and then I can do cat dot speak, and and it's going to say I am a pet, right? Yes, a cat can be a pet, but we can be more specific than this, right? We can say, I am a cat instead of I am a pet. So this is where the specialization part of inheritance comes in, because we use inheritance not only to get these methods, that's only a part of it, it's just a side effect. The real reason is that we want to specialize we want to create a specialized version of this other class. So by specialization, I mean that it is something in a special way. For example, speak is going to also print something. So the thing does is the same, but it does the same in a slightly different way. Like we can say, I am a cat instead. And now it says, I am a cat. And if we have a pet, of course, it's going to keep saying, I am a pet. And we can still use eat and sleep. Maybe they work the same way for cats than more a more generic pet than other pets, right? So we have access to those. You can also create other classes. You can create a dog that is also a pet or some other kind of pet that you want. And here you, you specialize, maybe a cat does something that other pets don't do. For example, maybe a cat scratches, right? Scratches things, scratch, right? And there will be a behavior that's special for cats. And that's another example of a specialization. So notice something is very important when using inheritance is that you use this when you want to specialize and you are going to be using the other things too. You are not just um, picking, oh, I want this method in here, so I'm going to inherit. No, that's not how it works. You want the whole package. You want everything because a cat is a pet. It's not just for sharing the methods, right? So that's very important to remember so you don't misuse inheritance. So if you have this situation where you're going to specialize, then inheritance is the right choice. Otherwise, you might want to look into something called composition. That's another way that you can share behavior, that you can share methods without having to inherit. So that's inheritance in Ruby. Hope you found this useful. If you did, please give me a like so I know that you like this video. And if you want to keep learning, make sure to visit my website, rubyguides.com, where you will find a lot of tutorials to help you keep improving your Ruby skills. Also subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. 
and watch more of my videos and all of that will help you keep making progress and keep improving your Ruby skills. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.